safety lesson. Today I've got a special friend that's going to join me in just a minute to play a game with us. Before we get there, there are some things that you need to know so that you can play the game in your class or at home along with me and my surprise friend in a minute. A lot of us are spending more time than ever at home and indoors, and some of you maybe are even going to school at your house now. And mom and dad are probably going to ask you to help pick up around the house and clean up your room and clean up different things. So we're going to talk about ways that you can be safe when you are helping clean up and pick up because there's some things that are safe for kids to touch and to put away and some things that are best left for adults and parents to be the ones to put up okay so let's go through a few things real quick what sorts of things should we not touch things that could hurt us things that could burn us things that are hot and things that are sharp so what about matches yeah so that would be not something that kids should touch or play with what about things that are sharp like knives yeah same thing we should not touch those you should go and get an adult and let them take care of that okay what about things like pens and pencils yeah those are safe to touch you should get those and put those away in your desk or wherever they go in your house. What about stuffed animals? Totally safe to do. You should be the one to pick up all of your stuffed animals and put those away. So now that we know that there are some things that are safe to touch and some things that are not safe to touch, let me get one of my friends in here and play a little game. I've got on this piece of paper an adult and on this piece of paper a kid. I've got lots of pictures right here of different things. I'm going to see if our friend can put these in the right spot. Either these are things that adults should touch or these are things that it's okay and safe for kids to touch. And you can play this game along with us in your class or at home as well. Hi kids, it's me Sparky the Fire Dog. I'm here with my friend, Mr. Reed. Let's see if we can play this game together. All right, guys, I've got you back here with me on the Sparky Cam. Let's see if we can get this figured out together. Ruler, yeah, I need that for school. That's definitely okay for kids. I'm gonna put that right there. Ooh, a lighter, no way. I know these are hot and can burn. These are definitely adult tools. Put that over there. Pencils. A-OK -okay for kids to touch pencils. Put that right there. Okay, ooh, another lighter. This is a different kind, but still hot only adults. It can burn yourself. Matches. Hmm. These are funny looking matches, but I know they are hot and they can burn you. Adults only. Tell an adult if you see matches. Ooh, some markers. Those are colorful. Those are A-OK -okay for kids. We use those at art time. Let's see what this is. Ooh, a mixer. I've seen my parents use these to make cakes. Those would be fun to use, but I still think that's an adult toy. Put that over there, because that could get my finger caught in it or my fur especially. That would not be good. Adults only. All right, an eraser. Okay for kids, no problems there. All right, ooh, a saw. Dad has one of these in his shops. Very sharp, I can't use it without his help. Put that on the adult side. One more. Oh, this looks like my cousin. The teddy bear. A-OK -okay for kids to do. I'm gonna let Mr. Reed come back in and make sure we've got everything correct. 
All right, kids, how do you think Sparky did? Yeah, I think he did a pretty good job too. So on the adult side, he got all the tools right. These are things that we need adults to help us. We need to tell adults if we find these things lying around at home or someone else's home, wherever we are, we need help with them because there are things that can hurt us. There are things that can burn us, they can be hot, or there are things that can cut us like the saw or are dangerous to use like the mixer. Everything on the kid's side that Sparky put, safe to use. We've got a lot of things that you probably use at school like pencils, markers, and erasers, and also teddy bears. Those are safe to have. I'm sure you have a lot of them on your bed just like Sparky does. Okay, you can play that game with your teacher or your parents in school or at home, and I've also got a challenge for all of you. Here we go. Your teacher should have two different pages. One says, what should I do? at the top. It's got a picture of different things that you might find around your house or someone else's house. And I want you to draw a picture in the blank box next to it of what you should do if you find these things. There's one. Part two of your challenge is this paper right here. It wants you to draw a picture and fill out, I will if you will fill that out and your entire class fills that out and your teacher emails me pictures of it, I will bring by a special prize from me and Sparky to everyone in your class. All right, guys, that's all for this time. Sparky and I will see you next time for another fire safety lesson. Bye.